All right, we should be live back, and we are getting ready to play the second half of our draft that we started last night, so pop in here. So we did get our win last night when the servers exploded, so got our two wins, and that's, and no losses, so here's the deck. In case you missed that there's also a part one. Want to see how this thing came together go back and watch that but it is a thing of beauty got almost infinite two drops bunch of good threes and then our top end is all super useful stuff we got this one little one drop over here and 16 land you have three three tree root weavers and a heaped harvest so yeah, we have Yigra, we have Camella, Elia. So far, we are 2 0 to start off with, so. <clears throat> Deck was doing really great, but the servers just could not handle everybody wanted to, wanting to play Bloomborough last night, so. We're forced to stop, so now you get just me, no, no speckles or bonks or my brother hanging out with us. And yeah, we're gonna keep this. They have a bunch of ways to make food and to forage, so... They have a 1-3. Ah, neat. We drew a curve. Alright, so... They're probably only going to discard one spell, whatever the worst spell is in their hand. I doubt they have so many lands and not enough spells that they're going to discard two lands for us, but... Unless they misclick and discard two cards. Oh, so they lost Splash Portal. Alright, that's fine. Next turn we have to look out to find another land. We have the Corpseberry Cultivator. That is that better here? Probably not when we don't have a way to forage. Let's go find our land first. Ah, immediately hit a land. Oh no, never mind. There were there were three spells on top of our deck before that land. Also, we did not hit our second forest yet. That's a little concerning. Yeah, well, the one two still blocks one of their creatures, or eats a combat trick. So, yeah, no point in leveling this up yet. Oh, I didn't play him to not block here, so. Oh, hey, Camilla, how's it going? Um, yeah, I haven't drawn any of my ways to forage yet, so. It's a little rough. They have four cards in their hand, so it's not worth leveling up the thing yet. Okay. Play the Cultivator first. I want them to use stuff on the Cultivator, not on, like, Camilla or something. And, yeah. Be mana efficient. Level our thing up. So if they get too low on cards, or if we draw the whirl, I get to start drawing cards. There are two cards in their graveyard towards their thought shucker, so. Oh! Oh, that's something that needs to die as soon as we have the means to do so. Um we currently only have a three in the yard though, so we're not quite set up for that. Uh, beginning of your draw step, draw an additional card for each opponent who has one or fewer cards in hand. <clears throat> mm. Alright, this way they can't play a land and a spell without giving us a card next turn. Or double spell, so. 
Hopefully that slows their development a little bit. Won't slow it down much if they just play a land and activate the Splasher or whatever its name is, Mentor. Oh, they did play a land. They cast a spell here, we'll get to draw a card next turn. Yeah. Go two, four, attack you for six. Yeah. I say if they cast anything, I get to draw a card, so. Ah, they're gonna surveil. Yep. Alright, so either way, we play the Wix Patrol if we draw the land next turn. Because now they're tapped out. If I hit a four drop, we kill the thing, which I think. Did we? It doesn't show the number for some reason. Oh, we hit Yigra, which... I mean, we have this guy. This one gets it back, right? Yeah. So we kill the Mentor here. And now we have enough fodder to forage back the Yigra, so... If our opponent plays out cards, we get to draw cards. And they start taking damage. Alright, feeling pretty stable. Finally found our second forest. Let's play this out first, because they're holding up double blue. Alright, they did not counter it, so... Alright, let's forage back Ygra. So, one, two... Three. Draw a card. And just hold back. Makes their guy 4 5. effects too. Wow. Ah, they broke up my combo before I got to do it. On the bright side, now we can trade the 3-2 for the raccoon if it gets rowdy, so... Probably just gonna pass because of that. Yeah. Hey, right, let's get Eager online. say regardless of what they block with we're growing Yigra here so I say we'll trade for the two four okay they're just gonna take it I was gonna eat the mine shucker before they get to threshold we'll wait on this because I have the activation of all of my food creatures so yeah I'll allow them to surveil again if they want to And now they're down below the number of cards. <clears throat> okay, so now we get to draw an extra card each turn. So now we'll draw a Thart Whirl or whatever it's called. Oh, 
Ah, nope. Way better than that. Okay. We can save her to kill one of their guys, or shrink one of their guys mid-combat. I gonna think that's what I had the entire time. Creatures are food, but once they start eating them, you can start jamming with Yigra too. <clears throat> oh, that's a big old turtle. They have three, four, five, six, seven land, so. Even with the. If they hit a land that's eight and they can crack their food thing, and that would be nine. So they're one short. cards in hand. Yeah, they do have to tap and sacrifice to... If I can't tap it for mana and use the mana to spend the sacrifice itself for food. Six, seven, that's not even... I was gonna say, that's not even kind of good enough against Ygra. <clears throat> so, they're just gonna chump Ygra then? Yeah. And quad block wicks. Um... I can kill two of their creatures here... Three out of seven, putting in two creatures is four and five out of seven. So yeah, I probably just want to kill the... I have to sack one creature for food. Okay, so we hit done. Um, we can go to damage, because if they don't sack their guy now... Okay. And then we can kill the other thing post-damage. Gets huge. Downside to this is I don't get the food token if they sack it in response, but. I, okay. Land out. Last turn. They have one card in hand, they still take two damage. Yeah, I'm so confused there. Maybe they forgot that their guys are food? Seventeen cards left in my deck, because we're going to draw... Run away together, okay. Uh, resolve the ward first. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so that turns on their one thing. Okay. Play it. Uh, it's 
more annoying that Yigra is in my hand that I can't eat my creatures to gain extra life here than... Alright, so three, four, five, six, so I can't kill their stupid thing. I have to double chump. Alright. Uh, block that one. That one. with anybody yet. Alright. So, Yigra itself is not a food, so they cannot actually kill it. It's not an artifact or enchantment. Yep. So they're gonna kill my fancy thing instead. Makes sense. is not a frog or any of the other four blue types, so... Hmm, neat. That's neat. Alright. Yeah, I think I'll take action here. So what have we got left? super matter. I suppose we get the other one before our next draw step anyway, so... Eight, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So they can't actually kill Yigra here. Yep. Pass the turn, we'll crack the food, end of their turn, draw a card again, after we get the land out. Block in, get cut in half by the <clears throat> five four, see if they do anything cool. Yep. It's bigger. Alright, we get our last land out. take action. Thank you for asking. Now I have nothing but spells. Hey. 
mean the spells could be better. Away together again. <clears throat> oh, they have to sacrifice their other creature at least. Oh, also they're doing this, so they're going to have to discard their guy. So yeah. Ah, they're gonna sacrifice it. Nah, that makes sense. Um, so yeah, Yigra goes back to my hand. <clears throat> Recast Yigra. Another creature. Hey. Right. <coughs> I've got eight cards left in my deck. Well, my opponent's in top deck mode against Yigra, so. <coughs> Right. Yeah, they're gonna trump Yigra anyway. So. Yep. This way, maybe I can kill their new creature <coughs> before it gets to block. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah. Okay. Good job, Yigra. I am sad, though, that we still haven't gotten to do the Yigra Camellia combo yet. Where all my creatures are food, and I can sacrifice a food to make a squirrel. <clears throat> I can forage to make a squirrel and put a 1 1 counter on all my squirrels. Which, you know, gives me another creature, and so on and so forth. End of your turn, I'm just gonna start eating my squirrels to make more squirrels, so I have more squirrels to eat. That seems silly. is not going to have a hand in a couple turns. In the meantime... Eh, Alright, we'll run out this one first. <clears throat> that way I'm on five mana next turn. For four mana? Four mana. That's still fine. So next turn we're probably going to double bandits talent them. Yep. 3-3. Three, three. It's neat. Oh, they found their other color and it's black. Okay. Alright, so they currently have four cards in hand, five cards in hand. Alright. Finch formation. The other option is I can just play the Corpse Berry and eat one of my things, and this guy will be a 3 3 and can jam. Yeah.
Hey, Eager. How's it going? Hey, if you could discard more cards for me, that'd be great. They lost. Mind Whisker. Alright. This time, just level up our classes. That way they can't afford to go low on cards in hand. Oh, are we casting a spell now? Cool. Yeah, he sure is exiled. We currently have two cards exactly, so yeah, we just want to level this one up again. Now if they do anything, they start taking four damage a turn cycle. Unless they can draw cards. Okay, I'm down. We got a food out of this anyway. Unless they specifically exile the 3 2, uh, then um, I'm looking kind of bad. Eh. But they exiled the 2 2 instead. Alright. Yep. Yeah. Okay, my turn. Uh, enter the battlefield, you may forage and draw a card. Alright, let's get Eager online. I mean, I suppose... They don't mind sacrificing their Orator. Yeah, we're just gonna take five here. It's fine. That's not my whirl. Um, actually, I suppose we cast this one first, see if we draw anything better. Because if we draw, like, the um, removal stuff, we can sacrifice a food. Why was that sound effect so loud? Jesus. <laughs> trade Yeager yet. Wait until we find a way to get her back. In back. Get back. Who knows. It's a calamity beast. Second bone binder. Actually, Ygra is the only thing I could conceivably attack with, and they've got Death Touch and two ways to rebuy their Death Toucher slowly over time, so... I was gonna say, if you want to jam with the Death Toucher, I am more than happy to block with my 3-2 and start attacking with Ygra if you don't have something better.
this is a punch, right? Um, target creature you control deals damage equal to its power. So yeah. Play the Hunter's Talent. Uh, Yigra will punch out that. Because if they want to stop Yigra, they actually have to sacrifice one of their creatures. Oh, that's obnoxious. Yeah, I think I would like Yigra on top, thank you. Actually, I'm surprised they didn't die or downdraft Yigra in response to the search then, or could they not? Did they... they might have been tapped too low. Alright. Double that up. Double one of these up. And... Yeah, if I could crack one of my food by playing this, or level up the other thing, I would, but... I... Right now, technically, I have infinite food, so... Alright, so this thing is four mana to level up. They play Yeager first, in case they have, like, the bird counter. They might just have a regular counter, and I'm just gonna, yeah. Oh, that sucks. Okay, um, so we level this up next. Attack with him, make him a 4-3 trampler, or 4-2 trampler. And if they don't block, I get to draw a card. Okay. Not the best, but it's going to chump block their 7-7, seven, seven, so... Unless I die here. And 11-12, so yeah, removal spell kills me outright. Well, if they hadn't have kicked it, they would have killed me here, so... Really glad they didn't do that. They want to trade now. Cool. All right. Kill both of those. Deal them a few damage. Get another food token. Land out of our deck. Okay, it's not terrible. And while they're tapped out, uh, we'll kill the 7-7 seven, seven here. Because then they don't really have good attacks on me. And... yeah. <clears throat> like, they can buy back their dude and they can kill one of my guys and both of those are fine. Take three here. Food real quick. Oh, that ain't psychic whirl. Um This one, give it the bonus. Out there trading, but you never know. Okay, I'm down for that. Okay. Level up this one while we have nothing better to do with our mana. Get the turn back. to get back the trainee, sure. <clears throat> T 
take three. Yep. Yeah, this is starting to feel like a loss because they had the counter for Yigra. That is another dire downdraft. That's frustrating. And... Okay. Yeah, they have so many spells in their hand now, and that's an unblockable creature. That draws them cards. Oh, okay. It does, in fact, help. Um... I can't imagine they're going to triple block here, so... Alright, uh, downdraft can hit any creature, so... so we just want to kill him then, while they're tapped out. Three, four, five... More. Yeah, it's the fact that they have all these cards in their hand that they don't have to use, and I don't have my one thing to make them discard here. Like, I'm trying to put pressure on them so that if I get it, they'll actually lose the game. But uh, if I just keep drawing more forest... Three, four, five. If I leave up my guy, hitting them for two gets them to eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, but I'm dead in two turns. So I need to make them use their cards instead. Or not attack me. Which, you know, I'm sitting on a mighty one three here. <laughs> kind of just dead. Getting back. Yep, that's a whole bunch of flyers that kill me. Yeah, that was true. I'm even more dead. Like, I'm dead in two turns just to what they have on board. They don't even need anything else, but... Uh, they have... Three removal spells, and... This doesn't give power and toughness, right? It just gives flying. Yeah. So they'll jump their 1-2 and their 1-1 one, one here. Or not. My blocks on him are bad anyway, and you have three removal spells. If I trade off my guy, I literally have no bodies left. Alright, I have enough mana. I might need to forage a bunch on my turn. Sure. So... So they have Threshold, they can just buy this idiot back when they attack with a rat, which the Dagger Fang duo is, so I kill the Dagger Fang? Because that's the most damage. And it stops them from being able to buy the other idiot back later. I'm pretty sure I'm actually dead on board here, but I'm not bothering to do the math, so. Like, they kill my guy, they attack me for three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I guess not. Three, four, five, six, and I can gain six life. They have four cards in their hand now, though, so I don't even get to... trick them with my things. Alright, so... Uh, whenever you attack with one or more rats... Oh, they still need to have a rat, though, which they don't currently have. So, right. Alright, so we trade with him. Okay. Okay. 
okay. Every loss, practically, I've had in this format so far in two drafts, except for one, has been to massive flood out. It's been ridiculous. Um, I can gain six. That's two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. Not dead yet. Just very, very close. Basically dead. Okay. Pause game. Consume 30 cheese wheels. Well, could have used that a while ago. Unfortunately... Yeah, because that would have given me the bodies, too. Um, hang on. Go back. I have to attack with the creature in order to get the bonus? Yeah, okay. Never mind. So I can't draw a card with Camilla at the end of my turn. Try and claw my way back into that just a tiny bit. Okay. Yeah, we drew almost infinite lands there. That is the problem. I did not draft enough of the discard cards to enable the bandits, so if I don't... If they don't play out their hand and I don't eat enough of their hand with them, then all it does is force them to not play their spells for a little bit. Alright. Hopefully I draw some of my food guys in the first couple turns. But we have removal spells, we have playable creatures, so... We have a removal spell and two playable creatures, so... Yeah, I'm at 16 land, and I drew, like, 12 land that game. Okay. Yeah. Well, that thing's good enough. And it gives me a food for Corpse Berry or a Forager. A little inclined to try and hold the food for Forager, but I guess we feed the Corpse Berry first. Okay, yeah. There you have it. So we can start rumbling with our 3-4. Oh! That, that is a 4-5 draw card. That, that is genuinely terrifying. Um, although they're white-red, so they shouldn't have any way to get it back. So... We kill it here. Let's get to keep attacking them now. They're also white-red, so unless they have, like, a dragon hawk or another ridiculous bomb, I was gonna say my Witch Patrol should be able to kill everything, but... Alright, then. This is still fine. Alright, so... I guess I'd rather kill the... 3-4 if they want to block here. Yeah, okay. Uh, nothing permanent-wise in the graveyard. I think we want to buy back the Wix Patrol anyway, so... Okay. Eat that one. Or try to. See if they got anything cool. Either way, we get a food. Yep. Yep, that's fine. Is that Ygra? Had to be Ygra as a gold card. Um... Yeah, it was Ygra. Alright, so we can kill the Wix Patrol, or not Wix Patrol. We can kill the Provisioner with the Wix Patrol. Oh, silly viewer. Seller. No, I 
not like to buy your view bots. Alright, I think this opponent might be in some dire straits here. Okay, have plenty of fodder. Alright, so they're gonna discard and draw two. Didn't go for the pump, so planning on hanging back and blocking, which I'm okay with. Eh, Jackdaw, savior now. Uh, with flying dice, return another target creature with lesser mana value. So they have a four and a three. They can get back the Warren Elder. Um, I'll decline. Again with everybody. Take all the cards out of their hand now. Okay. And let's buy back Ygra. Forest. Talent. Saver. I could also buy back the Wix Patrol. Just kill their guy. Is that better here when they have no cards in hand? <sighs> On the one hand, it probably is. On the other hand, I really like Ygra, so... Oh, attack me with Jackdaw Savior. Okay. Plan on eating their carrot cake? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't think they could attack there. Eh, a little bit. I didn't get back Ygra, I had to get back yeah, Wix Patrol because that was the better card at the time. <sighs> Although I did immediately draw the way to give Ygra Trample, so. Alright, four wins. Yes. Yes to this opening curve. And my opponent's on a mulligan? Yeah, no, this seems fine. Huh. Alright, this one's more damage right now. So we're gonna be able to play the Corpse Berry, jam for three, and draw a card here. Oh my god, this is so dumb. Are you having fun, opponent? I'm actually going to be able to... I was going to say, I'm going to be able to play, if I want to, the duo... Feed the cycle, kill their guy... And this is a forage, so it'll still put a counter on the corpse berry here. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, this is silly. This is so silly. Kills my 1-1. One, one. Yep. No, that's fair. And what's not fair, though? This draw. Yep, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Gonna make it ten for good measure, but they did math faster than me. Alright, five wins. I'm feeling very confident this deck is gonna get the seven. Gonna be a little disappointed when it doesn't. Everything has been firing on all cylinders in almost every one of our games, so... I mean, that kills all of their early creatures, rips their hand apart, and then draws me cards and loses them life? Yeah, okay. Get this thing down first. a two drop. I was gonna say that means they have plenty of other two drops, but that's okay. I have plenty of ways to kill a two drop. I'd much rather kill that. That one I'm less inclined to worry about. Okay, there's our second black. Uh, level this up. Well, that hurts an awful lot. Big six. My turn. They land. Oh, wow. Did I have a black up last turn? Uh, can I... Oh, Z to undo. Okay, hang on. Um... Because if we take the two cards out of their hand, sack the food, then they're going to take damage, and then they have to start holding cards to not give me cards next turn. Yeah, okay. So we hit them with this one first. Because then they don't know they're losing their guy. Uh, we have two cards in hand, so yeah, we have to pay the extra black, kill that. Oh, right, can't pay the extra black, we have to sack the food. I'll be okay, I promise. I knew what I was doing. But yeah, now if they play cards out of their hand, well, they have plenty to forage to get back their other guy. That kind of sucks for me. I will be able to kill the 3-2 and level up the thing at the same time, but... Let's just go ahead and kill him now. Play that. Pull that up. But uh, yeah, that 5-5 five is going to be rough because I already used one of my removal spells that can kill it. So then buying it back. Yeah. Hey. Right. Yeah, anything that is incentivized to play here is going to be really bad for me. So if they have any more haymakers, that's going to be my second loss. I have to eat the food now in case they have the burn spell that can give me a treasure to go face.
Yeah, that's a problem. And that's going to be way too little, way too late. Because I'm going to take four damage here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to take seven damage here. Never mind. We're dead on board. I take two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. About seven, six damage. Still way more than lethal. One point over, two points over, same difference. Alright. It's a charging monster sword with reach. Yeah, I probably messed up. I might have had five more life. I've been paying attention. Maybe I could have killed the 5-5 five five that one turn. I don't think it mattered. Like, they got it back and I had no way to interact with it, so... Alright, this is a fine start. We're gonna need to draw some stuff, though. A ramp. Again, that's fine right now, but I am gonna need actual spells take advantage of all this ramp. Especially against another red-green deck. Just more ramp. Hey. Okay. Action. Get a swamp. Shuffle my deck up. gonna say now they start giving their larger creatures haste I just keep taking damage yep okay so two of our three losses are gonna be from flooding out so that kind of sucks I've drawn nothing but land and ramp spells so I have one removal and one discard spell that might get them a little bit, but... Okay. If they have, like, the uh, Baker's Bane duo or something here, it's going to be in a lot of trouble. Uh... Yeah, I think we just have to kill. Um, Actually, do we want to forage? Be more mana efficient? Is that helping me in any way? Not really, and I might need the life. Alright, so pay the black. Kill him. Now they only have three cards in their hand, so... Still need something here. Alright. Let's go ahead and forge my land away. See what we can find. Take action, get another swamp. It still isn't good. I'm still taking like four damage next turn, most likely. Maybe more. I have to do this while they have two or more cards in their hand. Herbalist and the Bodyguard. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I missed that I hadn't played the land until after that. I definitely should have played the land first and had a 1-3 untapped here, because then I threatened to trade for the 3-3 three, three instead of just bouncing off of it or losing it to a combat trick. Okay, so.
Alright, I was gonna say, they are empty-handed now, so... This becomes a thing. Unfortunately, I still think I need to play out this one first. To not be dead here. Oh wait, no, I can activate this still. Okay. I thought it was gonna be a mana short. But yeah, I wanna draw a card next turn, so... If they can play a 5-drop and attack me with a 4-3 plus whatever the 5-drop is, or 4-drop is, I'm gonna be in trouble. Um, yeah. Food token. Kill their haste, dude. Pass the turn, deal the damage. Okay, nothing too important here. 1-1 one, one would have been good, but everything else is fine. Now they have to hold cards in their hand. Alright. Half. Hey. Right. Well, it wasn't looking too good in the beginning with all of the flood, but we finally started drawing spells, so. I have to imagine now they're dead. Like. Alright, so they get to forge back one of their guys. Hello, not Christine. Welcome back. Getting back the bigger raccoon makes sense. Ah, but now they're giving me an extra card and setting themselves up to take two damage, so that might be good enough. Yeah, that's probably good enough. We kill that one. <clears throat> they have to trade for the Wix Patrol. They take five, then two from my enchantment. Here we go. Okay. And we're good. One more. Yeah, one more. This is pretty. Yeah, we're gonna keep this. Ah, uh, no fair. They have a curve, too. That's fine. Our curve will be better. Eventually. We're the same. You know, whichever. I mean, I would not like to attack my 1-1 one, one into a 1-3. Okay. Alright, play that. Play the 1-2. Could we go past out Corpse Berry? Would have been okay. Not great on this board, but... Level up. Ooh! Ah, that's... 
That sucks a lot. Okay. They get to kill two of my blockers. I'm gonna have to kill the boar. Uh, all right, we keep the one two. They lose the four three trampling enabler. Then we kill the boar, and they only have the talent left. Yep. Just kill that now. Hit them for one because I'm not blocking, but we'll be a two four. Yep. Sword equip. Alright, what do we have in the graveyard? We have one, we have two, and we have two. So we're not even guaranteed to kill this thing if I attack for one and then cast Wix Patrol. Alright. You wake then. Play Camilla. next turn, because I can level up their thing and give it double strike and trample. Ah. They did accidentally not equip this turn, but... Ah, I'm a mana short of doing everything. Ah, that sucks. Um... Yeah, boosting Camilla doesn't do anything, because you would have to trade with the 2-4 at that point. Alright, let's see if we can hit, because I don't know how else we win this now. Forest, Swamp, Talent. Alright. Back with Camilla, because they have to double block if they want to block her. Yep. And now they just get to move the sword around and kill me. Because <clears throat> that's going to be a 5-6 double strike trampler. That's going to be a 7 power double strike trampler. Uh, so bad. Ah, oh, they didn't level up, so it's just a 7 power trampler right now. So I can go... 5... 6... 7... Then Hunter's Talent can kill the 4-2. Assuming they have nothing. If they actually have anything, we're just gonna die. But... Yep. We level up the talent. She jumps up to a 4-3 menace. They can double block her and kill her. Hey, right, let's just play this idiot then. Get a food. E 
Yep. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I have a Wolverine, right? I can kill the talent, in theory. Ah, they should put it on this guy. Gives haste, too. Not that it super matters. We are incredibly dead here. Yeah, I guess we can just block with the lookout, since it can't block the other one anyway. Still feeling incredibly dead here. Alright, so we pay two, we forage, get the other squirrel. Um... A2 twice. Ooh. Um, no. Undo. This one. <sighs> hey. Or whatever. Actual whatever. Now their double strike guy is indestructible. That's neat. And I'm gonna take like six points of damage during my end step. So they can actually kill me here if they realize how their enchantment works. Ah, oh, this is so dumb. They give the thing plus one, plus one, double strike, and haste. It hits me for 12, then they go their end step, and I take six. But they have to notice it first. Okay. Okay. I enjoy being not dead on board, I guess. <sighs> okay, so... If we don't block, is there a way I can kill my opponent next turn? With my menacing squirrels. They're only able to block one. I would take 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... I could give Trample to the bigger one, but it's only going to be 6 power, 7 power. And I can't kill this idiot anyway, and he's double strike, so... Yeah, okay. Let's take it. I don't think I can win. This seems very over. Oh well. Okay. It's two less damage I'm taking now. I can go to three. That does give them two bodies to block with, so that makes it even less likely that I can win this, but... Alright, so activate her. Go one, two, three... Activate her again. Go one, two, three. And I drew a land. So yeah, we can get him up to seven power menace or nine or seven eight. Yeah, we can get him up to a decent sized menace trampler, but that's it, so. Is there anything I could actually draw here that would let me win this game?
Yeah, because I played the last card in my hand. They know I don't have anything, so I have to draw here. Okay. Seriously, all they need to do is put the sword on the stupid dragon, and I lose. Okay. Oh, I probably need to save her before so that we get one less thing. Okay, um Shrink him down so I take less damage. I sacrifice one or more food to create a squirrel token, so gain three life. But yeah, now I'm just dead on board. I need to do that before the Dragon Hawk trigger resolved. Lock the double striker. Maybe they'll mess up. Maybe they'll play a land, forgetting that I'm not actually dead yet. Nope. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I needed to save her, the Dragon Hawk, immediately in response to its trigger, so that way they get one less card. Once they had committed to that attack, because then I don't have to worry about the two things that deal me a point of damage when they die attacking. Oh, that's on me. Alright, so we're one hour and 18 minutes in to finish up the draft. So, I guess we can do midweek magic next. So, if you're watching this live, give me a minute. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Good rest of your day.